Sean Hammond with Premier Guitar. We're at Winter Nam 2020 in Anaheim talking to Melvin Lee at New X Effects. Melvin plays with Lee Rittenauer, famous jazz guitarist, legendary jazz guitarist, and Shaka Khan, legendary band. Melvin, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's good to be here. All right, Melvin, so you have this new DI slash preamp pedal. It's your signature model. You want to tell us the story of how it came about and what's cool about it? Okay. Yeah, I was um, with this company. I am with this company, Corona Basis. And um, the, I met the company through Corona Basses. And um, <clears throat> I have a signature bass, and they said, well, man, we'd really like to develop a pedal for you. And I'm kind of a gadget person. And I said, OK, well, come up with something that, that kind of accentuates the sound that I already have. I usually don't like a lot of coloring, but um, I told them the frequencies that I'm more comfortable with and that I like. And I said, if you can give me a pedal that will give me that freak, those frequencies, and then I'm all in. And he said, we can do one better than that because of the pedals we have or we design um, have impulse uh, responses so that we can emulate different uh, cabinets, different. Uh, so I'm like, okay, uh, can you do one for a company that I endorse? And they're like, well, we can do anything because it's software. So, yeah. we can do, so they came up with the pedal, man, and... and um, so had them do IRs of cabs you really like? Absolutely. Tell us about those cabs. Well, it's all TC Electronic for me, I'm, because I endorse the company. So doing sessions, it's like, how can I get that sound if I only want to take the pedal and not bring a, a bunch of gear that you have to mic or, you know, so... Uh, do you have a bunch of different cabs, TC cabs that you use, like 10s and 15s, or just... I use 10, yeah, I use a 212, I use a 410, and um, and 112, so they all have their own characters. Yeah. And do you mix and match? Do the IRs like have a combination of those, or is it just like w individuals? You know what I mean? Um. <clears throat> uh, oh, I I haven't programmed it in that regard, but as I, as I understand it, it's available. If I wanted, they they've already created some IRs for it, but there isn't one for like a 12 inch. One for it for oh, two. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So tell us about the basic features, all the knobs and switches and okay. stuff. Here we have the drive, which is like sort of a, um, a tube kind of over overdrive kind of sound, which I very rarely use, I, I will be honest. Um, but for the most part, when we developed the pedal, I told them for me, 32K or 32 hertz is where I wanted to live. Um, for like bigger venues when you want subwoofers and for That's me pretty low yeah. exactly 32 to like maybe 40 I wanted that to be the starting point in the you usually play five string I play se yeah five and seven, seven? yeah oh, five and seven damn. so so the the um, so that's that's kind of what excited me it's like if I can get a and that's really where we started it's like man if I can get a pedal that um, I could boost the bass, but it would only boost anywhere from 32 to 40 hertz and give me that bottom. So that when you're doing big arenas, you're really pushing the subwoofers. If I can get a pedal that can do that, I'm all in. And of course, with playing slap bass, I wanted more the 10, which is pretty high, maybe 8 to 16K, which is just a real crisp cut. If you can do that, I'm all in. So that's the company developed that for me. and. That sold me, and they said well, we're going to do one better than that. We're going to we're going to allow you to use it as a DI um, or an interface for recording on your laptop. I'm like, okay, I'm used to you know the other companies that provide that uh, UA Audio and all the others, but they um, they put it all in there. If you want to practice with it, they said, well, we can give you a headphone jack and. Um, and allow you to practice with it, with music, if you want to do that. So they kind of made it all encompassing. Everything, it's all in there. And so the IRs, the um, the auxiliary, if I want to plug my uh, iPad, laptop into whatever, and my bass, and just use it as a practice tool. But um, the the thing that really sold me on it was the the ability 
to shape the sound that I like yeah. in terms of my playing, what I wanted to hear. Have you had trouble with other DIs in the past getting that super low end from your seven string? Yeah, because most companies will, most companies, when you when you check the frequency level, most companies will live in that 40, 50, well 50, 60 in terms of the punch. Obviously in 50, 60, somewhere in there, you get a lot of punch. Well, they were probably designed for four strings. There it is. <laughs> All right, you're making sense. <laughs> you're making sense. Okay. What do you tune your seven string to? What's the lowest on it? It's still low B E A D G C F. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's all. But yeah, you're right. So that four strings, that sort of makes sense. But when I went in the basement, it's like I almost lost the frequency because it, it's most pedals stayed there. Yeah. So I wanted, I really wanted to. You wanted to rattle the bowels. Yes, man. Yes. I mean, if you're in a big arena, a big stadium, and you and you want to really play the frequencies that have the subwoofers going like, you know, like, oh my God, we can, that's what I'm, and when we're out with Shaka Khan, that's sort of, it's like, he said, man, the pedal really works because I can dial it in here. And he says, I really don't even have to change your EQ. So this, this is the monster killer for me. This is the one I really love. So it's three band and then so there's bass, middle, treble, and right. then the frequent, the middle frequency can be just, tuned just, with that freak yeah, knob? Just to, just to shape the mid. Yeah. But, but I usually, um, what we call, what we've called back in the day, the, the smiley face, yeah. where you drop some, yeah, I'm talking to veterans here. You know what I mean, yeah. Drop the mid a little, boost the lows and highs. So since the bass itself already had that that um, the frequency of 50 and 60, I wanted to. That's why I wanted the low. So I would still get that that slope, but I'd be able to boost the ultra lows. Yeah. So that's now, that was that was my thinking. Now is what we heard on the intro to the video like your favorite way to dial it? And if so, do you want to show us a couple other sounds maybe? Um, on the video, yeah. The the, the you played at the top of this video? Oh, yeah, well, at the top of the video, it was pretty much flat. Okay, you want to show us a couple of your favorite sounds? Yeah, this is sort of, and this is this is literally my setting, and it's, it's it may be boring, but from my basis, it works. So, I, the low end, maybe about one o'clock, and the highs, everything else kind of sits right there. And drive, because I like it clean, but that's pretty much my setting, just like that. So I guess. And as I play low, as I. You feel, I mean, I mean, do you hear the difference? It's not so much a poignant sound, it's just... A little wider. Yeah, I just wanted to and this is maybe at the 10, 16. So you don't, you just really hear the ultra bright. And that's sort of how I like, that's how I like to play. I mean, I just, everything for me is, is a smiley face. Nice. For lack of a better term, but it's one old school guys yeah. recognize, you know? All right, any other sounds you want to show us or should we tell people where to go online? And how much it is? How much is this thing going? The price, <laughs> the price is 179, and you can go online to NUX, EFX. E I think it's NUXEFX.com, right? That's right. That's what we are told. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Melvin. Thanks for joining us, guys. Hit subscribe so you can get other cool NAM videos, and we'll catch you later.